Sunday Igboho chased after Nnande Kano incarcerated. Gumi Maitiala protected. Nigerians react. Hello, my wonderful people. That is a country called Nigeria for you. We are those who really have the arms, AK-47, talking about um, the Fulani headsman, Maitiala, who told Governor Otom of Benue State that there will be no peace unless he gives them land who had meeting in different in Eula and different places and the meet, the minutes of the meeting recorded and you know proven and shown online federal government turned a blind eye says nothing is there but if IPOB speaks Sunday Boho speaks it becomes a national threat what kind of country are we in can you see that there is more to this than beneath the eyes they can go to people's farm kill them no problem but those who try to defend themselves becomes the fugitives, becomes the criminal. Nigeria, 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 my country. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Let's get all the details. Sunday Igboho chased. Nandi Kano incarcerated. Gumi Maitiala protected. Nigerians react. Reactions have continued to trail the recent move by the federal government to cripple agitators and sections in the southeast and southwest part of the country. Yet the governors fold their arms, laugh because they are given money. Oh, money. National Daily Post recalled that Nandi Kano, leader of the southeast section group, the indigenous bull of Biafra IPOB, rearrested from an undisclosed country to continue his trial in Nigeria after jumping bay in 2017. Kano, who holds a dual citizenship of both the British and Nigeria, is currently being reminded in custody of the Department of State Service. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja, presided by Justice Binta, gave the order on Tuesday. According to the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, who addressed newsmen on Thursday, said the fugitive was rearrested following the effort of the Nigerian Security and Intelligence agencies in collaboration with authorities of other countries. Federal government re-arrest Kanu with the aim of ending his rising agitation for actualization of the Biafra Republic and agitation of the sovereign nation of the Southeastern people, Igbos. Similarly, the DSS on Wednesday night stormed the residence of Yoruba activist, the major pioneer of the Yoruba nation, Oduduwa, in Ibadan, the Oyo state, the capital where they killed two of his people and gunned them down. Igbo, who, was successfully, who has successfully coordinated Yoruba Nation rally in some other state of the Southwest, prior to the invasion of his residence by DSS, scheduled a mega rally in Lagos today, today in Lagos State for today, Saturday, July the 3rd. Spokesman of the service, Peter Afonayo, while declaring the section wanted during a press briefing on Thursday night, also prohibited no fewer than 12 persons suspected arrested during the operation. But some Nigerians who reacted to the development we expect on why the security agencies are clamming down on innocent agitators who are asking for a breakup, nothing more. Why terrorist symptoms, according to Gamio and Maitiala, are allowed to roam free indicates the ties with bandits and other criminal elements. However, out of the view that the agitators and, uh, have overstressed the limits of the action and utterance, others have said what is going on is a clear indication that Nigeria is about to be destroyed and taken over by detectors who wants to suppress and oppress every other region. The plan for President Muhammad Buhari is to take over Nigeria and hand it over to the Fulanese. There has been an old agenda that Nigeria belongs to the Fulanese until the British came and dismantled this plan. Buhari is their savior, their hope and intent will help them achieve this purpose. Igboho is advocating for the safety of his people, nothing more, in the southwest against the manic of the Fulani headsmen who keep killing people. He also calls for the creation of a Duduwa nation that will give his people a better governance over themselves, yet he is now the target. Gumi is advocating for bandits who have been kidnapping students, killing them in the northern part of the country. The bandits have also been killing and destroying lives and property. 
millions of northerners are being over 10 years or more, over a decade or more, homeless, have not gone to school. This is the kind of government they want to create where their children are well exposed and they come in and begin to govern and rule and oppress the people and make Nigeria even more terrible than it is already. The sad part is that Nigerian governors who should speak are all in line with what is going on, gentle and accepting it, calling it that this, those who are calling for section wants to destroy the country. They cannot see it beyond their nose because of money. Where is Nigeria headed? What is happening? It's a great question we almost answer. It's Nigerian government for you, you know, that's what they do. Uh, so Fulanis are being protected now. Why others are the ones, you know, um, in trouble? Why others are the ones going through um, what's happening today? You know, uh, Fulani headsmen, they are the ones who have been ca causing a lot of problem. But guess what? This is what is going on. This is how, you know, Nigerian government, they will not face the Fulani headsmen. You, things happen and they will tell you they, they don't know about it. You know, uh, people take, you know, uh, try to defend themselves. They are arrested. But when Fulani headsmen, you know, destroy their farmland, kill them, nothing is done. Nothing is, nothing happens. That's Nigeria for you. That's the new normal now in the country. Where Buhari has said, leave the Fulani headsmen. Go after Nigerians. This is the new normal. Mm? This is the new normal in Nigeria today. And everybody is keeping quiet, allowing this to happen. All the governors, senators, because of money, position, influence, and affluence, nobody is speaking. Are we going to fold our arms and allow them to continue in this way? I beg your pardon, the answer is no. I know, I know, I know it's a very, it's a very tough terrain because as we are now, what is going on is not acceptable in any way, form or kind. But we cannot say, ah, they are oppressing us and we keep quiet and allow this evil to go on. No, we have a duty to stand up and defend who we are. Is it going to, is it going to be challenging? Yes, very challenging, I can assure you. It's not going to be easy for us to declare our position and say this is not acceptable. They would not want that. They would tell you you are opposing them. They want to imp implant the Fulanese everywhere. You know, people are just watching and allowing things to happen and nobody is saying anything. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.